Hello dear children, I hope all of you are well. Children, uh, today we are going to learn a new grammar chapter. That is a note on tenses. The children, you have already learned about four forms of verbs and two kinds of verbs, models and auxiliaries. And you know that action words are called verbs. But actions can be performed at various times. Some are done at the present time, some are performed at the past time, and some will be done in the future time. So how will you indicate the time of action? What do you do? We use different forms of verbs. For example, what's the difference between I go to school, I went to school, I shall go to school? When I say I go to school, it means I am talking about the action done in the present time. And when I say I went to school, then I want to say that the action is done was done at the past time. And when I say I shall go to school, the action will be done in the future time. So you have seen that I am using two different forms of the same verb. Same action word. One is go, V1 form as you know. And the other is went, V2 form. And to indicate the future time of action, I am using shall with V1 form go. Because we, uh, uh, we, we don't have other forms to indicate the future time of action. Clear? So V1 form I am using to show the present time of action. V2 form went for the past time of action and to show the future time of action we don't have different forms. So we are using V1 form by adding it with shall. It is the helping verb. Now you see the verb form that shows the time of action is called the tense. So what is the tense? Verb form that shows the time of action is called the tense. By tense, we can understand the correspondence between the form of the verb and our concept of time. Alright. Now, there are three main types of tense. Right? There are three main kinds of tense. Present tense, past tense and future tense. But see, this is not enough. We also need to express whether the action is timeless, completed or in progress. For that purpose, each tense is further subdivided into four different forms. Right? The four different forms are simple or indefinite, continuous, then perfect, than perfect continuous. Alright? So these are uh, all together there becomes 12 different tense form. In simple or indefinite you can see here we can divide it into present simple then uh, past simple and future simple. I have also given one example here in present simple I go to school. You have seen the highlighted word that is verb go i'm using the v1 form of the verb go then in the past simple i went to school the highlighted verb is went that is the v2 form of go i'm using because it is past tense and in future simple i shall go to school shall go is the verb and here i am uh, using um, uh, the helping verb shall with the v1 form go because it is future and when it is future tense we should use the helping verb shall or will all right so this is simple or indefinite present simple past simple and future simple now let us move to continuous the from the word continuous itself um, you know continuous means something is in continuity it is in progress the action is in progress and this can also be divided into three, present continuous, past continuous and future continuous. Now in present continuous, that means the action is going on at the moment of speaking. That means I am going to school. 
So, how will you write the present continuous form of the verb? You have to use whenever the word continuous comes, then um, you should add ing form of the verb. You have already learned the ing form of the verb in the chapter 4 forms of verb. So, continuous means ing form of the verb you have to use. And along, uh, along with the ing form, you have to add the be verb. Okay, so here am be verb is used because the subject is I. M plus V1 ING form. Alright, so I am going to school. That means the action is going on at the present time. Now, past continuous, in case of past continuous, the same verb form, that is ING form of the verb you have to use along with the B verb. But here, the B verb that is used is the past form of B verb. It is the past form of be verb, was. Alright, so was going to school. And next in the future continuous, I shall be going to school. So, the verb form is same, ing form. And with that to show that it, uh, it will be happening in the future time, I am using shall be. Okay, it indicates that the action will happen in the future time. Alright, next perfect tense. So, perfect means completed. The action is completed. Now, present perfect, past perfect and future perfect. You can divide it into three kinds. Now, in case of present perfect, I have given you the example, I have gone to school. Alright, so what form of verb uh, I am using here? As you know, this is gone is the V3 form of the verb go. And along with the V3 form, I am using have helping verb. Okay, I'm using have. And um, for present perfect means something has been uh, completed. The work has been done. Then past perfect. Past perfect form, I had gone to school. Now here also V3 form of the verb gone is used, but I have changed have into had because it is past perfect. And how will you know this is present perfect or past perfect? By looking at the helping verb had. In case of present perfect, I used have. But in case of past perfect, I am using had. Alright? Now, future perfect. Okay? Future perfect tense form is I shall have gone to school. Look at the highlighted verb. Shall have gone. So, same gone v3 form i'm using and to indicate that uh, it uh, it will happen in the future time i'm using shall have and have indicates the perfection the completion of the task all right now let's move to the last one that is perfect continuous we can uh, divide it again into three present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future perfect continuous all right and the example, sir, I have been going to school, present perfect continuous. And here, since you have got the word continuous, so it indicates that I have to use the ing form of the main verb, go. Alright? And since the word perfect is there, and for that purpose, I am using have been. Okay, present shows, uh, have shows the present time. And being shows the perfection, the completion of the task. Because being is the V3 form of the B verb. Alright? So, being I am using to show that the action has been uh, completed. Alright? So, three kinds you are using. One is present. Half shows the present action. Then, um, being shows that the action is uh, completed. And... Going, ing form shows that it is continuous. Alright. Next, past perfect continuous. So, I had been going to school. Here, it's almost same like present perfect continuous. The only change that I have done is with the be verb have. Okay, have will be changed into had because it is past. Okay, so had will indicate that it is past action. And been will show it is perfected and again going ing form means continuous action. Okay, the action is in progress. 
Finally, future perfect continuous. I shall have been going to school. So here again you have said, how will you know this is future? Because I am using here shall. And perfect have will show its completed action. Then been again, uh, been again completed P3 form action. Then going the continuous form. Okay, shall have been going to school. The children, the, so together the 12 different forms. Okay, uh, you have learned now. And the use of these different forms of words, we will learn in detail in uh, later on. Okay, one by one. We'll handle the chapters one by one. And you'll get to know in detail about the usage of these different forms of verbs. And uh, for the time being, you just learn uh, the uh, how these uh, different forms are written. Okay, we are only talking about the structural thing. Okay, how you structure that uh, verb form. Is it clear to you the 12 different forms of verb? All right. Now, let's... Uh, uh, let's uh, let me explain it uh, in detail again by taking um, another example. All right. All right. Exercise um, the present simple. Suppose if I take the sentence, he writes a letter. All right. He writes a letter. That will be a present simple tense. All right. He writes a letter. Now, in case of he writes a letter, what is the form of verb I am using here? Writes is the uh, v, uh, v1 form of the verb I am using here. Alright, because it is present simple. Now, what will be the past simple of this sentence? You have to focus mainly on the verb. So, in case of past simple, what form of verb do you use? Writes, writes is the v1 form so in case of past simple i have to use v2 form of the same verb now do you remember what is the v2 form of right it's wrote right so the sentence will be he wrote a letter right now future simple how will you write the future simple of the same sentence? So, when it comes to future, I have to take help of shall or will. Now, in this case, I will take the help of will because our subject is he. And with will, I have to use v1 form of the verb. That means, uh, he will write. Okay? He will write a letter. This becomes future simple and always remember with will and shall we only write the v1 form there is no changes with the verb always use v1 form with will or shall okay now present continuous so what did i tell you before when the word continuous comes then you should always use the ing form of the verb all right and if uh, since it is present, so in case of present, I have to use the present form of B verb. So, B verb plus ing form. Alright. Now, here our subject is he. So, I have to take help of which form of B verb? Is. So, he is. Then, ing form of write is writing. He is writing a letter. So, have you seen? Is B verb and ing form of write is writing. So, he is writing a letter. The past continuous, when it comes to see, continuous is same. So, I have to use the ing form of the verb that is writing. But what do I have to change here? I have to change here the B verb. So, earlier it was he is writing. Is is present form. So, I have to change it into past that is was. He was writing a letter. Next, in case of future continuous, I have to write it as, uh, we, I have to take help of uh, shall or will. Okay. So, the sentence will be, I, he will be writing a letter. The next, in present perfect, I have to, uh, I have to take help of V3 form. Alright. Uh, so, how will you write it? A V3 form. He has written a letter. With V3 form, I have to write has or have. 
all right now past perfect now as you know again uh, for perfect tense i am here i have to use v3 form and to show that it's the past time of action i have to use the um, past form of have that is had so had plus v3 v3 form of write is written he had written a letter all right the future perfect again for uh, to show the completion to show the perfectness i have to uh, use v3 form that is written and the future form to show the future tense i have to use will will have written a letter then present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous form of this sentence will be he has been writing a letter so here writing shows the continuity of the action ing form i am using here and has shows the present form and perfect uh, perfect tense is shown by been okay because v3 form of be verb i am using here has been writing all right then past perfect continuous he had been writing a letter so here i am changing has into had all right to show that it happened in the past time so had been shows perfect and writing shows continuous so he had been writing a letter and in case of future perfect continuous again the form will be he will have been writing a letter so here will shows the future time all right have been perfect tense and continuous is shown by the word writing because ing form of write i am using here so he will have been writing a letter so i hope children now it's clear to you now you need to practice uh, more on the this concept so and for that purpose from your textbook in exercise number 2 Uh, there are uh, there are six different sentences given, and out of these uh, six different sentences, you select any two sentences and write the twelve different tenses of those sentences. Okay, you have to write all the twelve different forms. You select yourself any two sentences from exercise number two. Is it okay? Okay. Next, um, we'll do exercise number three later on. All right so till then till we meet next time thank you so much bye bye